Hi there, I'm Lisa from Amicus. So you've been asked to complete a banking information check using open banking technology. But what is open banking and is it safe? Let's start with why you're being asked to do this. Regulated businesses such as legal firms and letting agents are required to carry out certain checks to meet their anti-money laundering obligations. This usually involves checking your identity as well as various banking information. And as frustrating as it is for you to do this, unfortunately, it is a legal requirement. In fact, if the business doesn't do this, they could face severe penalties, including jail time. Why can't you just email a screenshot of your bank statement? Well, that exposes you to a lot of risk. 65,000 attempts are made every single day in the UK to hack small to medium sized businesses, and 4,500 of those are successful. So it's really important that you and the services that you engage with are taking really good care of your data. As a bare minimum, you should be able to find out where it's stored, how long it will be stored for, and who will have access to it. And if a business isn't able to answer those questions, that's a little bit concerning. Okay, so that rules email out, but why couldn't you just drop off a bank statement to your local solicitor? Well, I personally shudder at the thought of how many businesses probably have my information stored in dusty filing cabinets in the back of the office. They could be accessed by anyone at any time and I just have no idea. But risk aside, this is a far less convenient way of doing things. The alternative would be to spend hours on the phone to your bank trying to action the sending of bank statements or taking half a day off work to drop off documents to your lawyer. So what is open banking? And why is it making your data more safe? Well, back in 2018, UK regulated banks and payment service providers were told by the Competition and Markets Authority that they had to allow consumers to share their financial information with other organisations should they wish to do so. This was driven by consumers who ultimately wanted more control over their money. You may have seen this technology used in budgeting apps like Yolt, Emma and Money Dashboard. And it's also used in most online banking apps to allow you to view balances from your other accounts. And why is it secure? Well, all authorised providers of open banking technology are regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, and that includes our provider, TrueLayer. This means they're required to meet the same rigorous security standards as any UK bank, and they're also bound by the rules of GDPR. So how does it work? Well, when you connect a banking provider to Amicus using open banking technology, you'll be asked to enter your online banking login details. Now, I know this is the part that fills people with fear, so it's really important to note that we cannot access or store this information and neither can any other third party. Rather, you're logging in to give your bank permission to share very specific financial information with us, and this is pushed to us through an encrypted connection. Unlike emailing or posting bank statements, open banking gives you full control over who can see your data and when, and you can revoke permission at any time. I hope that this has helped you better understand open banking, but if you're still feeling unsure, there are some great resources available, including on moneysavingexpert.com, so we'll leave a link below. Thanks for watching.